Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I've got a problem. It's all of those and many more. So, as I've gotten in this YouTube thing, these SD cards seem to multiply like rabbits. So, I decided I needed a solution. So, what better way to get a solution than to head over to Thingiverse and take a look? So, tell you what, let's go jump into the computer, take a look at a couple options, see what we find, and uh, we'll print them out, come back, and take a look at them. So, to the computer. Okay, we're now back in the computer. So, well, we've headed over to Thingiverse and I did a quick search of SD card holder. And uh, as you can see, quite a few things have popped up. So, um, and again, I don't want to get too um, extravagant, for example, like this guy down here, the Swiss Army knife. Well, pretty cool. Um, not practical for my purposes, but very, very cool. Or like this mountain version. Again, very, very cool, but not practical. I want to stay practical, and I want to be able to print these out on the Fabricator Mini, so I don't want to go with something this big. And also, this is kind of a little bit diverse. And, and one of the things you'll notice if you get down through this list, you start seeing a lot of these repeats from customizers um, popping out. And again, a lot of these are specific, so like this one is meant to hang off something, and this one's a little card to go in and hang off a printer. So many, many cool ones, and I might do a another one, but t today I just kind of want something simple, um, you know, to use. So what I've done is I've gone through the this list, literally hundreds of them, and I've picked three to take a look at. So the first one is just this one. It's a simple box design. Uh, pretty basic, but I like the looks of it. In, in the pieces, it kind of keeps everything together. Holds about nine cards. So this one went on the list. The next one that went on the list was this guy. This guy I thought was a little bit interesting because he holds not only the SD cards, however the micro SD cards as well as a couple of dongles or USB uh, jump drives. So he went on the list um, I thought it was actually frankly pretty cool and one of the pieces as I started this I realized I'm probably beginning to collect as many micro SD cards as I am uh, the bigger, their bigger brothers of the SD cards. So this one went on the list and then the third and final one was this I wanted something that was was a little bit basic utilitarian um, so I picked this guy pretty easy to print pretty simple design so I gave it a go so uh, anyways I've downloaded these these files and then what I'd like to do is we'll jump out of the computer back into the real world and then what I'll do is um, show you the results and as I'm talking about them I'll show you the time lapse up if kind of like picture in picture so you can kind of see them printing and get an idea what it all looks like and we'll go from there so let's go back to the desk oh, now we're back we printed these out so let's talk about them so the first one is this one here now what I'm going to do is up in the corner I'm going to put the time lapse of, of them printing on the fabricator mini so uh, you can watch them print as we kind of sort of talk about these so with this one, uh, it's probably the most basic and utilitarian out of the group. And, and I like this from that aspect. It takes very little plastic, prints very quickly, holds a fair number of cards. I believe it holds six cards if I'm seeing things correct, um, which isn't a bad number, but it's still kind of a little bit lightweight. I also don't like the fact that it's open on the end so the contacts are still exposed to whatever um, you know the environment is in, in for the shop and that. So... Um, naturally I'll use it, I printed it, uh, however, I, I, you know, again, very utilitarian, and if you kind of want to stack these someplace, uh, probably a good mix. Might be interesting, um, to actually use these, and I don't know if this would work, let's, uh, I'm kind of making this up a little bit on the fly here. Um, now it's a little bit off for that, however, what I was thinking is you could probably print out two of these, and use them as use them as a cover so actually make a little box out of it is what i was thinking it's a little bit off center for this one but uh if you printed two in them as a match um that would be doable and that might be kind of neat you know it's an interesting design um nothing against the design it's just um again you know only six cards end open you can turn it in but you know you could probably take this one and turn it around but then it's not uniform and i kind of like things to be uniform but uh so this is this is the the open utilitarian one. Um, cutting over to the next one, 
with this one, um, again, it's going to hold more cards than, than the other one. I'm not sure how many more, so let's kind of go ahead and see. So we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one holds nine cards. It's pretty, it's pretty respectable, and it's uh, very nice looking. So it's rounded corners on the edge, plenty of room in the print to hold the cards. Um, I like this one a lot. It's very attractive, and for just regular SD cards, yeah, I could see this one. Like this one a lot. Um, but before we do it, so um, you know, it would be nice if if you had something to stack. And maybe I just got thinking about that as I was looking at this. You build something, maybe to stack them. Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, pretty good find. Now this last one is a little bit different. So this guy not only holds regular SD cards. However, this one also holds micro SD cards and USB drives. So this is a nice little uh, adaptation, you know, especially for, you know, where you don't have a lot of cards or something. You know, I can see this like in an office setting where you got a little bit of a mix and match, but not a lot of, of any one. And so this will hold all three, be it, um, let's get up a little bit closer here. Um, you know all three types of media which is really nice and I am gonna actually use this one on my desk um, to hold kind of like the um, you know my extra media um, that I have laying around that I don't that, that only use kind of hit and miss so I think that'll be good because I don't have a lot that's just hit and miss use um, and then I think I'm gonna use these two for more of my archive media this one I think I'm gonna use in the workshop area because um, it's pretty, we should keep the cards fairly clean. Um, then this, uh, I'm going to throw in my office sort of to be just add on to this one, just to hold the extra overflow SD cards that I have left over that this one won't hold. But one of the things, I'm starting to get a lot of the micro USD, um, micro SD, not USD, micro SD cards, and I'm sure you probably are too. So I'm going to look for a couple things in this space too, but uh, frankly four for me right now I think is pretty good plus the USB drives, and there's ample space for the larger USB drives to go in here. So anyways, um, this was a little bit of my shootout to the SD card problem. And again, if you're looking for, I'll have the links to all three of these below. All three are good designs, no question about it. I guess it's just, you know, how do you want to really, and if I move these back so they're better in frame, that probably would help. It really depends on how you want to, to work with these too. So um, anyways, hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll put all the links below for these three on Thingiverse. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. And subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.